Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, a happy May the 4th BBBBBBB with you. Uh, okay, so um, so do press the like button. I have uh, informed uh, Darth Vader to award anyone who press the like button to be granted the rank of Grand Moth. So, and uh, if you don't, then just remember I'm standing on the high ground. So, quick update uh, on some missile strikes. So this is just a quick update. Uh, the both the Ukrainian and the Russian side, both governments have uh, confirmed this information. So the Russian uh, Defense Ministry have reported that they have used high precision, long range, and sea based weapons to destroy six traction power substations near. Uh, Pobotsi, Lyov, Volonets, Timkovo, and uh, Piatikatka. And, this and these are the train stations where the Ukrainian uh, uh, supplies of arms and ammunition produced in USA and European countries uh, transited through. And this information is confirmed by the head of Ukrazakliksnisia. And uh, the, they announced six strikes on railway stations in the center and west of the country. As a result, 14 trains are delayed. So the damage to the infrastructure is severe, according to Kamishin, which is uh, this uh, head of Ukrazalisnisia. And uh, it's good that it is heavy. Uh, it is good that it's heavy. Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, I think uh, I think this is the comment by the by this uh uh, Russian Russian uh, source. So, in the photo, so they have a photo. Uh, so, in th this is the famous photo. There's actually a video version. I actually saw it on my uh, national news in Singapore, and uh, the fire burning uh, really badly, and there's no way to to make out uh the rail infrastructure and the power substation because everything is burning so he's very happy uh that's not good uh you don't celebrate people's suffering uh unless they don't press the like button so then you can uh it's free for all man so they have strike uh leave i'm i cannot really find the substation i think the one is actually, it might be here i i suspect but i'm not sure uh for the one at leave and there's one nearby at uh Pitbird C, which actually uh, they call it uh, Pop Box C. So this one is uh, is here. So, and then uh, there is also uh, the strike one at uh, Volo uh, Volonets. Volovet, sorry. So Volovet's one, I think, is this one. Uh, a much bigger one. So they actually, uh, this is actually like a something like a small power plant of sort. Uh, it helps to, you know, generate power through the railway and allow the train to move according to uh um you guys uh some of the viewers have told me i think through telegram or through the comments that uh most of the train in russia and ukraine is actually powered by electricity uh which is why this is uh the case which sounds like the mrt in singapore the mass rapid transit trains in singapore is also by electricity so the one at uh time cough is this one uh, time cough is here so uh if you search for time cough you might actually end up in odessa so i actually originally end up in odessa uh, which is wrong so there's actually a time cough town here uh, there, there's time cough here uh then i can't really find a train station over there so after that i tried to search research again and actually uh, it's here just off bodanivka it's a really small small town it's like a really small town, but the train station is actually called Time Cough. So, so this this what where it is, and then there's one also at uh, the Piatikati Piatikaki, um, very funny name. So this one is uh somewhere around here. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. I gave up searching for it. So anyway, uh, yeah. So at least you get the point. So. Uh, this is but however this in terms of location is one two three four and five so i believe uh, there's actually two different substations in leaf that was hit and uh i'm not so sure there is a people claim that there is actually three explosions in leaf and i believe that is correct because 
uh, Pervert C is very close to Leaf. So this could be one of them. So there's actually two more. I'm not so sure exact, the exact location where it is. So anyway, this is just a quick update in terms of this uh, major missile strikes because according to a Russian source, they say 30% of the railway network is actually down. Uh, they say that uh, despite this seems like a major, uh, like like as if the Russians have done a lot, uh, but this, the Russian analysts say that the Ukrainians are still able to just repair it. And although some of them will take a long time to repair, but this does not mean the entire railway network is now is now down. It's still not yet. So this Russian analyst is uh, still encouraging the Russian uh, military to hit more of them, hit more of these substations, and uh, to to continue to cripple the ability of the Ukraine to reinforce the Eastern Front. Uh, the the one that leave is rather bad. Uh, half the city actually ran out of electricity, so I'm not sure what they hit. Uh, but that seems like a really serious uh, damage there. So uh, so this is the quick update in terms of the missile strike. And you may also find that it's uh, something uh, different about this map. Uh, because of my experience uh, working on the, the, the map for Myanmar, uh, I have uh, followed something that I've done on the Myanmar map where I added this uh, border. It's actually a, just a line and this is a separate line so this is just a line so to help to mark out the border clearer and i also uh added this uh a, a light gray line for this this is the border to uh, donets ah, uh, uh. yeah this is the border to donets this is the border to luhans so so it, so it's just a slight guide uh and then there's also the border to Kherson. So I think these these are the borders to watch because I think these are primary objectives by the Russian, especially for Luhansk and Donetsk. Uh, these are the number one priority, and after they capture this, I think securing a Kherson will be really important next, and we might actually see the conflict to continue uh, further since after that. So anyway, this is just a quick update uh, in terms of the the missile strikes on this uh power substations, the uh, traction power substations. And uh, there is no summary because there is no change in terms of the front line. And I don't want to bore you guys with a pointless uh, summary. So I will I will combine the summary with the one uh, uh, for the 4th of May. So so the, this originally I owe you a summary for six, day 69. And uh, by right, I will cover day 70 tomorrow. But since 69, there's really not, nothing much have happened. So that's why I will be combining the two summaries together. So just, just, in, just in case you're wondering uh, why I have no updates, uh, it's because I got uh, I got kidnapped by Darth Vader. And uh, because too many people are not watching my other videos outside of Ukraine war, and he strangled me to, you know, to, to question my lack of faith uh, so so I blame you guys man it's all your fault so please press the like button and I'll see you in the next update